Welcome back, guys. Things have moved on quite a long way since the uh, since the last episode. We are now up to, well, I think we were about 160, 170 people. We're now up to uh, 259. Now, our food was going down. And what happened? I I've spent the last two days basically figuring out how this game actually works. Uh, um, and in the last em episode, the, the food was going down. Um, we were up at about... I don't know, like high 2000s, and then it dropped down to about 2000. So I thought, I know what I'll do. I'll throw in um, a whole bunch of uh, berry gatherers, right? And then, so, so that we're getting loads of food in. So I added, I added 10 berry gatherers around the place. Uh, recruited 30 extra people. But instead of the food going up, the food got, the food situation actually got worse, right? And it, the, the whole place went into a death spiral. So I thought, you know what? I need to figure out why that's happening and I did right and I'm going to explain the whole thing to you but right now um, I want to get on and and, and do, start developing the village and bring loads more people in and that takes time so while that's while that's actually happening then I'll go and explain everything to you so um, I've, I've done I've done like a bunch of stuff um, I've developed a whole community over here we've got some farms and mills and stuff going on um, I'll, t I'll take you around and show you again. But again, let's get people coming in. So I'm going to turn on immigration so we can start getting people in. At the moment, like everybody is fully occupied. They're all, they've all got jobs and all that kind of stuff. Um, let's put this up. Let's bring up the resource panel. So as you can see, like, like everybody's, everybody's got jobs. Um, I, I, I'm thinking about things that I want to show you, but like I've got to get this done first. So what I want to do is put in um, a, a village over here and have a really big farm going on over here, like fairly huge. The reason for that, I'll explain later. <laughs> trust me, trust me. It's important that I get this stuff going because otherwise we won't we won't get lots of people in and stuff. So what do I want? You know, what, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pause this for a second so that freaking thing isn't clanging in my ear. Um, I'm gonna put in um, a small church over here. Because we're going to have um, a bit of a village going on in this area. And then all of this is going to be farmland. So, how do I want to structure this? Oh, I think I want to put this in maybe... This is going to be the town centre. So, I'm going to have I'm gonna have a little church. I'm actually going to make it look like a church. So, it's going to be a fairly traditional church. This is going to have... Um, let's have a bit of stained glass going on. If I can actually get the thing to... Oh, there. There we go. And we'll have... Am I going to put? I'm going to put a little tower on this one. I might put a little tower on this one. A little, little traditional little church down there. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to do that. Just, but just because of what I'm going to do over here. Now, I said I was going to do the mega castle. That's not going to be this episode. That's going to be another episode. So let's just have an extension C. Let's just have, yeah. Let's sink it in a little bit. Yeah, I think, yeah, no, let's take it down. It, it's just because I don't want this to look too imposing compared to what's going on here because it'll spoil it. So, um, right, let's start the construction on that. And now we can crank this thing up, start getting that done. Okay, so we've got, um, we've got a church going in. Now that will obviously make this nice and, nice and desirable over in this area. See, as they, as they form paths, that makes things desirable. They get the church going, that makes the area around it desirable. What else do we want? Berries. People need berries. There are, when, people, when people arrive, um, this, bit, this bit I'll explain to you. When people arrive, um, they arrive as newcomers. And when they're newcomers, we've, we've, got, we've got one surf, we've got 258 villages. In a couple of seconds, we'll have some newcomers. When those newcomers arrive, they only need three things. They need somewhere to live, they need berries, and they need water. When they become serfs and villagers, they get extra needs that you have to satisfy. So here we go. We've got these guys. Only needs berries, water, and somewhere to live. Right Now, at the moment, I'm controlling where they can live. So they can't... There's no buildable area. If I, if I turn on the, the zones... Actually, I could have done it here. Let's, in fact, let's do it down here. 
Let's turn off the desirability for a second. Turn on, uh, turn on the development zones. Um, all the all the residential zones are absolutely full, and I've actually trimmed them back to make sure that they can't build any more houses in areas where I don't want them to build houses. I want to specifically control exactly where they can build. So um, this village over here, let's let's make this even more attractive. So let's get. Let's get some, some berries going on. So we want a gathering camp. Uh, not a gathering camp. <laughs> a, a market where we can sell the berries. Um, let's see. So we've got, we've got the church. This is going to be like the town, town square kind of thing. So we'll have, we'll have the berries there, I think. And then we'll have, we'll have a well in the center. And then we'll have, uh, let's see. We'll have a market for bread. On that side and then we'll have a market for clothes on this side awesome sweet now as they as they build those let's crank it up this will become even more attractive because it's now like a proper village center and people want to live in a village it's gonna be quite nice it's gonna be very nice around here in actual fact So now we can start getting some houses for these people. Now, when people when people first arrive, um, they only need uh, the, the berries, the water, and somewhere to live, right? And as long as you give them those three things, they'll be happy, right? So they don't actually need jobs when they first arrive. So I can actually create um, like a village with loads of people in, and as long as I'm supplying them with uh, with berries, water, and and a house, right? They're happy. Right, and then I can figure out like where I want to put um, uh, uh, buildings for them to work in and stuff like that. Once they uh, once they upgrade, then they start wanting other things like food, uh, food in the form of bread and clothes and all kinds. They get very demanding later on. So let's get let's get some residential sorted out. So I'm going to put a residential. I'm going to extend this residential area. Um, around the back of the church and let's make this a little bit smaller and and we want them to probably be able to have houses maybe Along, along this road a little bit. So let's have strip down that side and a strip down that side of the road, and then we can even extend this out. Um, maybe like that. Okay. So now that I've now that I've created that zone, what we should see, hopefully. Is people starting to build uh, houses here? So at the moment we've only got two people. So we'll kind of see if a house pops up somewhere in here. And I kind of don't really mind too much where they start building in this area. But as the houses hopefully appear, let's see. Let's bring this guy up. hasn't built hasn't built a house yet. Oh, here we go. Hooray! Now we've got. Mail uh, 1598 and mail 996. Oh, and we've got another house. Hooray. Cool. So who's who's living in these houses? Oh, because we've got two more people have just shown up. Yeah, mail 4 and mail 1268 are in this one. And these two newcomers have moved into this one. Okay, cool. So what we can do now is start to give these guys jobs. Now, because they've built their houses over here, what we want to do is have them working nearby. That is the key. So I think what we'll do is we'll bang in a couple of farms over here. So let's have, you know what, let's, um, let's maybe extend this a little bit. And then we'll get a couple of farms where do I want these farms? And I want the door around there. Okay, well let's put let's put
put it one in. Uh, I want to try and get like a fair amount in. So let's have one in there. We'll have another one in there. Okay, so each one of these has um, three people. So we've now got six people. Oh, there's the third house going in. So these guys are going to work in these as soon as these are built. Now, let's get on to a little bit of explaining. So why am I doing this and how the hell have I got like so much food being produced now compared to like when I was in a death spiral? Well, it literally is all about controlling where people live and how they behave. So I spent, I've literally spent two full days just following people around and figuring out exactly how the behavior is and exactly how the production works and how efficiency works. So let's say, let's say you've got a, uh, a berry guy working in, working in here, right? In fact, let's take, let's take James. James would do. What we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to follow James for a bit. So... James goes to work, right? And he goes in and then he goes out and he starts gathering berries, right? And you can see he's going backwards and forwards, right? So that's two, three. So he's gathered, th gathered three berries, right? And then he's going to go, he's going to get some food. He's going to get some water. He's going to go to his house, have a little nap, right? Then where's he going now? Oh, he's gone to get some bread. Now you see he went quite a long way to get some bread. Then he's gone to church to satisfy his faith requirements. And then he's walked back over here. And now he can start doing his berries again. Okay. And he'll probably pick. Oh, he's only picked one berry. Right. Then he's gone. Get a berry. Get some water. Go and have a nap. Now, will he get bread this time? Oh, he's managed to get bread here. Goes to the church. Now, because he didn't have to go so far to get bread and satisfy his requirements, he'll come out now one two, three. Okay, now that is kind of a perfect example because what you saw there was when he was able to satisfy his requirements locally, he picked three berries during his work day, right? But when he had to wander all the way over here to get bread and then come back, he, was, he only had time to pick one berry, okay? This makes a massive freaking difference, especially when you've got people who are maybe living over here and working over here, which does happen if you, if you, if you don't actually plan out your, your kingdom. That happens. People, there's no mechanism in the game at the moment to allow people to move closer to their work, right? I'm sure, I'm sure that's something that's going to come along. I certainly hope so. Otherwise, for a lot of players, it's going to be an issue. Um, but anyway, so... So what happens is, when, when I originally added like 10 gatherers, um, or 10 gatherers huts, and added 30 gatherers, and my food continued to go down, it was because they were living in different places, right? And they weren't, they weren't making enough food in a day to even feed themselves, let alone feed other people, right? And that's what it's all about. The, the efficiency goes down massively when they've got to walk a long way, either like whatever it's for, whether it's to get bread or to get clothes or to, to go to their house or get berries or whatever. So it's important to keep people close. And if you do, oh my God, suddenly the productivity can go through the roof. So for example, these guys here, if we pick, I don't know, let's pick a freaking guy at random, Winona, <laughs> let's, let's see. Now I don't know where Winona lives. We'll, we'll see if she lives close because you'll see the productivity can be freaking massive. So, let's move that out of the way. So, so Winona's gone home for a bit of a nap, and then she's come back, she's going to work, and she's gonna pick one, two, three, four. Okay, four, then she's, Berries and water are very, very close. Her house is actually quite a bit of a walk. Now, if her house, like if she was living, say, here, or, or even like here, you might find she would pick like maybe six or seven berries in a day, right? Compared, well, like, or in a cycle, let's say in a cycle. I'm not sure it's actually a day, but in a cycle. Compared to, with other, other guys who are picking one or even less in a cycle, right? So... 
So yeah, it, I mean, it's massive. I mean, she's she's got like five, five, six times the productivity of um, of somebody else. It's pretty huge, isn't it? Yeah. So first of all, let's get rid of this now. I think don't need that. This is all pretty desirable. Oh, look, we've got more people coming along. Now, one of these people we want working in here so that people can actually get their berries locally. Now, let's let's just talk about this. Now, I've put this in without adding any more berry growers or whatever. Now, these are the local berry growers. Over, Let me pause this for a second. Um, these are the local berry growers or berry gatherers, right? Uh, we've also got berry gatherers here. And the closest berry market is this one. Now, if we look over here, they've got 1,600 in stock. That's a lot, right? And it's because there's, there's like three there and there's one, two, three, four, five over here. And because people are living relatively close to, the, to this, they're producing well. And you can tell if that's the case, because if, if the berry market is well stocked and if you go over to the gatherers and you see like high numbers up around like 10, 12 or whatever. Now, before, before I put this in, that's what we were seeing. We were seeing these up at... You know, you'd see one or two of them up at around 10, 12, whatever. Um, but now that I've put this guy, I should have shown you that before I put this guy in. Because we've got, go away. Because we've got this guy over here now, or this lady over here now apparently is manning it. Um, oh, well, she's just gone and grabbed 13. And she's probably done that in one hit. And this is, again, a big thing with the efficiency. If you've got these guys producing large amounts, then the market tenders can go and grab, because they only grab from one source, right? And they grab from the largest source. But if they're going over here and grabbing like one, and then walking all the way back, and then they've probably got to go and eat, and blah, 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 and then they come back and they grab one again, then you're not getting much. But if they can walk over here and grab 10, 12, 14 berries, because they can carry that much, and walk back in one go, boom, suddenly you've got massive productivity. In fact, let's, let's have a look. So... If, if we follow you, and let's see, we've got 13 in stock. Um, where are we? Follow you. Preparing to work. So she's now going to go out looking for berries. Okay. So she's going to go over here. Okay. Picks up a box of berries. Okay. So it's not, how, much, how many has she brought back? She's brought back eight. And then she's going to go over and grab some more. And how many are you going to bring back this time? And you can bring back, what was that? Yeah, probably about eight again. And she's going to go home. Because home is close and church is close, she gets her business done very, very quickly. And then she's back to work. And she picks up the stuff, takes it over. Cool. Now, if I find that these guys are, are not getting decent numbers, and you, you want to be picking up at, like at least five or six with each with each journey, right? So if we find that these guys are not producing enough, I mean, this is up around five or six. She just picked up seven from there. This will be the next one. Um, if there aren't enough, then that's the time to start putting in an extra gathering camp or two. So um, we'll probably we'll probably do that at some point. Okay, so we've got. How many, how many houses we put in? Quite a few. Sweet. Let's see. Uh, we can assign these guys now. So let's get some farmers working in there. Get some farmers working in there. Now what I want to do... Oh, that, sorry, that bling was me. That would be Nanny Giggles. Oh, <laughs> Stop it, Nanny. Go away. I'm busy. I'm working. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, we've got six guys in here. What I want to do is build up our wheat production. In the same way that I fix the berries, what I now want to do is fix the bread situation because we're not producing anywhere near enough bread. Now, if I can start producing enough bread, it's going to increase our, increase our productivity across the entire kingdom, like quite massively, because at the moment, people are wandering like all over the freaking map to get bread, right? When, they, when it's their turn to, to, to try and get some bread, right? They will go anywhere. They won't just get it from their nearest one. Like, so if you get somebody over here, needs bread, and at that moment there just happens to be some bread over here, then they will walk all, they reserve it, and they walk all the freaking way over, get the bread, go back. 
right? And, and in that time, when obviously they're walking all the way over here and all the way back, they're not producing anything. And it can, it can really cripple you. It right massively cripple you. So, yeah, we're going to solve all of that. Right, we've got a fair old number of people that we can get into jobs. So let's start doing that. Let's get some more farms going, I think. Now, you can see that the farmers, they don't grow like a massive area. And I've got to say, compared to when I started playing the game, I think it's changed. I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But I think they used to do a like a larger area. But it doesn't seem to be the case now. And I, I'm not quite sure why, but but it is. Um, let's see. Where shall we... Let's have a farm there. And we'll have another one there. So we get two more farms going there. And then... We can start thinking about getting some farms going over here. So let's have a couple of farms going in there. And then we'll start to get a farm field going on over here. So let's, let's start with that. I'm pretty sure we'll expand up into this area as well. fact let's let's trim that back a little bit yeah so we'll have farms up here as well okay so I've put two more in that's going to be another six people like six people I've got one two three four five six seven eight nine oh ten eleven that's almost enough for four farms awesome awesome but I'm gonna need to do what I'm doing here like all over the place. I, I have put um, an extra couple of farms in here and developed some farmland up here. Um, I, I don't think I've changed that. This area, I've, I've put in a, a farming area. I've got four farms over here. We're starting to get it. But we need a hell of a lot more. And the, you remember what I was saying about in the, well, maybe you won't, in the last episode about the mills, right? Because the ratio was like one farm to one mill. And I was saying, shouldn't it be like like, like lots more farms for, for, for one mill? And I think actually it is. I think the, the issue was that my farms weren't producing enough. Right? If you if you let's take let's take this miller over here, for example. What we want is for this miller to be picking up um like 10, 12 uh, wheat at a time taking it back and and what they do is then then they process it all right what you don't want them is going going to get like one wheat walking back processing one wheat then going out to another farm getting one wheat take it back process it into one wheat what you want them to do is go to go to a farm that's got like 10 12 14 wheat take it back and then they process it all very very quickly right so what we need is to massively increase our production because if I go around these farms I'll bet you they've all got either like zero or one wheat or something yeah there's zero zero because as soon as they produce any wheat it's being it's being taken away by the millers and you can see the mills are inactive oh how many have you got you got two wow big deal but you'll see that she will process them both in one go so if I can produce a hell of a lot more wheat then our mills are going to suddenly start to get a lot more efficient. But all of these at the moment, they're just not producing anywhere near enough. Now, partially that's due to inefficiency. I did spend a huge amount of time trying to move people around and stuff, but oh my God, it is a, it is a, a difficult and onerous business moving people around. So you actually need to get it right when you first do it, which is why I'm paying like such attention over here. Uh, we've got these two farms done, so let's get let's get some people assigned in here. One, two, three, and one, two, three. Now I wonder, has it taken the closest people? Um, mail nine six four. Ah, uh, yes. So let's pick them up, put them in. There. So we, I mean, ideally we'd want like these guys working in this one, wouldn't we? So, but no. See, mail 964 is in this house and has gone to this farm. Whereas 
male 862 has gone where? Oh, he's gone into this one, along with this person. Oh, so I may, well, I equipped that one first. So yeah, the, the, the closest two people went into that farm. So there you go. So I think this is probably um, the way to expand. What you don't want to do, right, is do what I did when I did my big expansion of having like, and I put in like several villages at once and then marked in loads of residential and, and it ended up with people living a long way from where they're working and it, that's, that's not the way to do it. It does kind of restrict you a little bit. I mean, there's no question about it. It is kind of restrictive, but you know, it is what it is. So let's see, we've got, how many, how many I think we were up to there, weren't we? So we've got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen houses going on. Sweet. How are we doing berries wise? Oh my god, look at this. 57 in stock. Now that is working nice and efficiently. How are we doing over here? Five, two, three, four, six. I mean, that's kind of bearable, but it's at the point really now where we're going to need to put in another berry, berry gatherer or two. Now, I do have another burying, uh, berry location over here if I, if I wanted to create like another village over here or something, which I probably will do at some point. Let's get, let's get a couple more farms going on because we've got people. So let's have a farm. Let's see, I've got, I've got a fair amount of people. So let's, let's have a farm farm and have a farm over there now there's a whole bunch of people kind of living at this end and to be honest I'd like to kind of use them so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little bit of room to put a farm in there so let's get a farm 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 so farm there. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll assign people to work here first. Now, I did get rid of the the guys who were chopping wood on top of here because when I was having my crisis, I kind of reassigned everybody and it was it was a nightmare. I mean, seri like serious death spiral. I was down to like between 100 and 200 food, which is which is virtually dead. But but yeah, managed to turn it around. Look at this. Look, we've got 6,000 freaking berries now. And I see absolutely no reason why I shouldn't be able to get up to, like, a very large population. I'm talking, I mean, 500, like, easily. I'm thinking, really, at this point, there's no reason why I shouldn't get as large as the game will allow, as the game's performance will allow. So I think that's what we're going to be doing. So, now, but you can see, it does take time to get this done. Right, so what, what else can I get some people doing? Some of these people. Um, now, we're, we're going to be growing this stuff. That's going to go to the mills. Yeah. And then we're going to want that going to the bakeries. Uh, we've got a bakery there. I'm thinking we're probably going to want an extra bakery. Um... Could I put a bakery? I, I mean, I could probably put a bakery. So, food, mill. Yeah, we could put a bakery. I, the thing is, I want the bakery to be fairly close to this, so it's a, it's a relatively short walk. Uh, but it's kind of it's kind of hard to find a a good spot. I should probably I should probably have like knocked this house down and put it in like actually I wonder if I can fit it in on this corner. You know, let's try. Let's try. Let's see if we can get a bakery in on this corner. It's a bit of a squeeze, but yeah, we can get that in. Let's make sure that I don't encroach on anything. Yeah, let's put it right right next to that guy's house. We'll leave a little alleyway between Oh no, he's putting in an extension. Oh man. Uh it'll have to be have to be there then. Okay, so we've got bakery going on. They've built the freaking houses over here. I really want more of them over here. 
for these guys. So I'm thinking, like, what can I get these guys doing? Well, i tell you what I could do. I could put in a woodcutter camp over here. That would be a good idea. So let's get... What do I want? I want woodcutter. Woodcutter. Well, it's right at the top. Let's have a woodcutter in. There. And... Now... I could get some farms over this side, but I'm wondering, I, I mean, I could get some sheep production going on as well, maybe. So that's going to be another three. And we're starting to get more houses going on in this area, which is nice. Okay, so... Let's wait for this, let's wait for this to develop a little bit more. It's a, it's a shame... I haven't cleared this area because I could put some farms over this area. Be kind of nice. Um, I could do sheep. I'm um, sheep farms, weavers. Hmm. I got the bakery there. I mean, I, I could put another bakery in maybe up here. It's a bit of a walk to the mill, but yeah, go on. Yeah, what the hell? Let's let's have a let's have one over here occupy some of these people. So, what do I want? I want a uh, bakery. So let's put a bakery in. Oh, no, wrong way around. Let's put a bakery in next to this guy's house. There. And we'll take out... Um, that's probably as close as I want them to be. So let's, let's take out that bit. Cool. Still getting people coming in. What are we up to? 293. Get in there. Get in there. I wish they'd built more freaking houses around here, though. Come on. Build houses around here. Because I want these I want these the people working in here to be really close. Um I can get I can get those guys assigned in that bakery. That would be cool. Uh I'm, I'm thinking, do I put in another that's Let's see, two, three, four, zero, three. Yeah, that's getting a bit low now. Now let's have a look over here. This is, see this only got eight in stock. Yeah, we need some people. We need some more gatherers over here to support this. I would imagine this is starting to, see you starting to go down or are you staying the same level? Yeah. But we'll boost it up over here. So let's get a gathering camp and we'll put it in, let's put you in this side. Have you? Uh, let's put you in there. Boom. We'll prioritise that. Try and get that built quickly. Oh, we'll get more houses around here. Excellent. Bakery coming along. Now I haven't assigned. Um, I haven't assigned anybody in here, have I? So. It's it's trying to figure out who's going to go into a specific place and figuring out... So, like, I want people from this end working, like, up here. So let's get three of them assigned into there. And they can start cutting these trees down and stuff. That, that's good. So I would imagine these are living in... Well, in fact, there you go. They're living right next door, which is awesome. Man 111. Uh, the thing is, if I assign these farms, it's going to pull these people in now. But like two farms is three houses, and it, like if I put if I assigned people to these farms, it would pick up the people from these three houses. Um, but I actually want these guys going into like into here. So yeah, I've got to be very careful about how I assign the people. So. I've got the people in that farm. I've got the people in that farm. So you probably want to sign this one next. So let's get let's get three people in there. And we'll do this one next. One, two, three. So hopefully these people are... Yep, yeah, mouth 489. So we're keeping keeping people pretty close. I would like another house or two over here before I assign these guys. Um, we can put probably the bakers in now. 
Boom, boom. Let's get them in. Um, oh, I can assign somebody there. Oh, and I can assign one, two, three in there. Sweet. Uh, that one's done, that one's done. Oh, I need to get some people in there. One, two, three. And one, two, three. I've already got people in there. See, like that one is probably pulling some people from up here, which is not, it's not ideal, but it is what it is. You, you can't, if, if, if I was taking a bit more time over it, I could probably get the placement a bit better and get the efficiency a bit better, but you know what, it's fine. So we've done that one, done that one, done that one, done that one. This is the last one to go in. Uh, I'm just kind of waiting for, oh, we've got a house here, that'll do. I would like another one in over here, but it'll do. So, boom, boom, boom. Let's grab those. So, how many people have we got now without jobs? I mean, it looks like we've only got... Uh, one. We've got two more people just showed up. So, yeah, we've only got three people without jobs. Cool. So, the question is, like, are these guys starting to actually get decent amounts in there? And the, the answer's probably going to be no for quite a while. Because our millers are going to be going over and grabbing those. Like, every time they produce one, it, they're gonna, the, the millers will just be over there straight away grabbing it. Because there, there just isn't enough. And the millers will come from all over the place. Right? Like, these millers will come over to these farms and grab wheat if they possibly can. Are we, um, are we in the planting season? Yeah, we're in the planting season at the moment. When we start actually harvesting, it might be different. That's quite a big expansion. You know what, I'm gonna turn off immigration for a bit now. So we've got one, two. One, two, wasn't there one more? Yeah, so we've got three. We've got two more people who should turn up any second. There they are. So we've got five people that we could deploy. Um, so let's get... Yeah, one, two, three. Let's get three of them in there. That leaves me with two. I want to get somebody allocated to that fairly quickly. Um, probably coming from over here. Let's see. Let's see where... Where do you, where do you live? I want you living somewhere close. So, oh, he's gone. Yeah, yeah, he's gone to get some some clothes from a weaver. But you see how far he's gone to get them. Then he's come back. He's getting some food, water. Where are you living? Ah, and he lives there. That's fine. That's close enough. That's good. All right. So there you go. That's a nice little expansion going on there. Liking that quite a lot. I would love them to get to... I, I just want to kind of show you harvest season. But they're still they're still growing like freaking crazy at the moment. Look at them go. <laughs> Man. I do wish that they grew like a slightly bigger area. But it is what it is. Come on. Come on. Do some harvesting, boys. People want to see you like actually having some stuff. And then hopefully... You know, I mean, with this, with this much... With this much wheat going on in these two fields, these two mills should start to really produce. Ooh. See, he's got one wheat. We need him to be bringing back, you know, like lots. Eight, 10, 12, 14. Uh, are, we, are we reaping yet? They still, it looks like they're all still growing at the moment. Come on, we need, we need some reapage. No. They're still freaking growing like crazy. You can see, you can see that the fields are expanding very slowly. Come on, guys. Do a bit of harvesting. No, still growing over here. Oh. Now they've gone. Maybe now, when they come back... Yes, here we go. Harvest. 
Okay, so what they do is they go out, they harvest, they take it back into this building, right? And that's all they do. Oh, and look at this going up. Now, when when a miller comes, now, because it's the millers that actually go out to the farm and grab the food, he's going to be able to pick, yeah, he's just picked up 10. So now, like whoever got that, I don't know who got it, but whoever got that, just pro I mean, it could be one of these guys. It could be somebody from like miles away. Could be this guy up here. Here we go. How much have you got? Oh, look, now he's got nine wheat to process. And if we watch, let's bring you up. See, I am producing resources. If we follow the villager. Yeah, she's just going to stay in there processing all of that wheat. Or as much as she can in the, in the time that she's got in her work day. But look at this. But as you can see, as soon as the flour is produced, it's being taken by bakers. They're grabbing it like almost instantly. Yep, see it's gone again. What we want is now the same thing with the millers, where we're producing so much flour that bakers can come over and grab, you know, 8, 10, 12 flour at a time and carry it back to the bakery and then bake, you know, 8, 10, 12 bread in one go. So that's kind of the next thing. But... Yeah, at the moment, look, so we're still not getting any kind of big excess on the uh, on the wheat. So, in between now and the next video, that's what I'm going to focus on. Uh, I'm going to be growing these farms out here and out here. I want a big farming community over here. We've got, we've got three mills over here. Uh, this needs to be expanded. Bunch of farms in here, bunch of farms in here. Probably, I mean, I probably need like another farming community. Um, to supply these three mills. So yeah, come back for the next episode, guys, and see, like, how far can I get with this? Can I actually get to a situation where we've actually got a bread excess? But even just doing that should have helped. And hopefully we should be able to see, uh, like, as time goes on, that that, uh, that bread number, which is currently minus 12.5, hopefully that's going to actually start. You can see it's actually ticking down at the moment, but it's ticking back up again. Because as soon as as soon as bread is produced, it's just eaten. It's just grabbed and eaten straight away. All right, guys, we'll leave it there. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I, I am freaking. I mean, I was loving this game before, but now I understand the mechanics of it, and now I can actually control my villagers and understand why I need to put certain buildings in certain places and do certain things. Um, God, I'm freaking absolutely loving it. And I'm really looking forward to the, the content update, which is coming soon. Some very cool stuff coming along in that. If you haven't checked out, you should check out Foundation's uh, Twitter or Facebook or their website. It's uh, This game's going to be awesome. I'll catch you for the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace out.